What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to override items in Navisworks Manage 2022. Okay, so let's get this started. So we have three ways of overriding an item or items in Navisworks. <clears throat> okay, so let's say for example, I want to change the color of the roof. So first off, we need to select that. So change this one to just select option. And then let's click the roof. So once you select the roof, the next thing that you need to do is just right click. And then you will now be able to see here the three types of overriding an item. Okay, so it's really simple and self-explanatory. So the first one is override the color. So just select override color. Just click that one. And then you will now be able to see here the color palette. Okay, so let's say I want to change that to different colors. So say blue. So I just select the blue color and then I select your OK. And there you go. Just click outside to deselect your object. It just so happened that when I select the object, the color is blue. So that's why I need to click outside just to make sure that the color changed to blue. Okay, so let's say for example this one here. So I select that. Or how about I change the equipment color? So I click this one and then hold control to select the other parts of that equipment. Okay, hold control and then click the elements and then you can orbit to see the other to see the other items just to make sure that they are selected. And same procedure, just right click, override, override color. So let's say I want to make that, let's say green, whatever color, just select OK, and then just click outside. And there you go. So that's how you change your color. So that's how you override your color. Just take note that you will not be able to put this kind of overriding to your Revit, okay? Right, now the next option is uh, override the transparency. So let's say, for example, in this building, you want to see some of the MEP elements because as you can see, it shows also the architectural and structural elements. So let's say I want to change the transparency of all the walls. So what I'm gonna do is, instead of selecting it one by one, so previous video, you have learned some of the tools for selection, okay? So you can click one, and then you can click same, you can select same name. So if you click that, it will highlight all the elements with the same name, okay? If you want, you can check your uh, selection tree, and then you can see here that the Navis Works will dig out your selection tree here. So the element that I have selected that is a basic wall so that's the name so all the basic wall here will gonna be selected if you select here uh, same name okay anyway you have learned this already back in the previous video right so after you select the elements that you want so you can right click and then you can select override item and then you can see override transparency just click that one and then you can move this slider to change the transparency okay so you can select your okay and then just again click outside and there you have it so it's now transparent okay there you go so that's how I change the transparency. So how about the roof? So you click the roof, right click, go to that option, override transparency, just click that one. So you just drag this, okay, just click, okay, okay. Then just click outside and, okay. So as you can see, the transparency here is not working. So maybe there are other elements under this uh, roof here. So I'm going to right click this, select right click. I'm going to hide that. So let's see if we have other elements there. So there's indeed another element. So let's select this one. Let's try again to override this. Let's move this, then select OK. There you go. Just click outside or just escape. And there you go. So that's how you override 
the transparency of the object. Okay, and then last but not the least, so you can also override the position. Okay, so let's say for this one, for this equipment, so I'm going to select this, so that is 177 kilowatts uh, cooling tower. So our selection tree is really powerful. So any selection that you click, it will dig that up from your selection tree and it will tell you what, what is that. Okay, so let's say this one, this equipment, so you click that, right click, override so this time let's override the transform so let's click that one then you will be able to override the transform you can change the location okay so let's say you want to move that along x-axis so i can select that one and then i can type let's say two and then select okay and there you go so let's say you want that to be moved up so I just click that right click override override transform so let's say the Z value here, I'm going to make that 5 just for us to be able to see that clearly that it's moving. There you go. Okay, and there you have it. So that's the three ways of uh, overriding your item. Override the color, override the transparency, and then override the transform. Okay, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.